there might be 18,000 people here, but it always seems like you know somebody when you're walking through campus, no matter where you are. I feel that Ball State is a well-kept secret. Many people don't know about a lot of the things that we have to offer here. There are some wonderful uh, academic opportunities at Ball State University. Um, and when I say academic opportunities, I'm not saying specifically book-wise. Um, I'm talking about generally the opportunity to mature and become a well-rounded person. I think I have changed 190 um, percent. When I came here, I was a little self-conscious and very insecure about what I wanted to do and my ability to do it. Now I feel like I might not know everything, but I certainly know how to go about learning it. a medium-sized school with a small school feel and a big school attitude. The faculty interaction with students is generally very high. The faculty are very personable, they're very easy to contact, and they generally want to help the students. Most smaller schools that I'm familiar with would not have been able to offer me the diversity that Ball State has. heterophile antibodies, enforcement antibodies that may be stimulated by other disease processes. When I came to Ball State, I had declared a biology major with a chemistry minor, but that was sort of on a guess. That's what I liked in high school, and I really hadn't had much experience. When I got here, I had a, a couple of good classes, and that just made it firm in my mind. Now what we have to do? We have to do. The professors try to get across to us that what we learn in the classroom is fine, but there's a lot that goes on in the real world that we need to know about. So they try to give us a lot of on-hand experience in many of the majors at Ball State. America lost the war in Vietnam. How many of you agree with that? I'm stating that as a fact. How many of you think we lost the war in Vietnam, the United States? How many of you think we did not lose the war in Vietnam? What lonely student. Why do you think we didn't lose the war in Vietnam? War is actually a way to further the national policy of a, of a country. I would um, never come into a student and say, Vietnam here's the truth. I come in and I say to the students, here are three or four ways of looking at things. Pick one. Next week, pick another one. Just try to learn that truth is not something that's handed to you on a platter. It's something you have to develop yourself. Good, okay. And letter C in 3-4 time, with the left hand showing the expression, starting very soft and building to that fortissimo, okay? We'll repeat the dish of the Chinese numerals. I've been both to England and China as part of Ball State Foreign Studies programs, and not only do we find out about other people and other cultures, we find out very much about ourselves, and I think that's very important as far as um, broadening one's scope, broadening one's uh, ideas, getting more of an international perspective. I've worked for over 14 years now and I've been married and I've got two children and I've always wanted to go to college. What we could use then to make this thesis stronger is to compare the original um, University College American has helped me a whole bunch. American I didn't do very well in English in high school and I knew I was going to have trouble. So they sat me down and I resolved my problems and now I can relax and 
and just en enjoy it. If the ferritin iron is normal or high, you can't really say that that's iron deficiency. Could you say hematocrit and hemoglobin are a somewhat indicator if they're low of iron deficiency? Definitely. The student coming to Ball State has the opportunity to select from one or more of the 125 majors at the undergraduate level. In addition, we have the Honors College, so the student who comes to the university academically well prepared and who is interested in a little greater challenge can participate in a general studies program that is a little more demanding. The faculty probably in their greatest role <coughs> is to be a cheerleader. They teach you, I mean, they help you learn, but they, they mainly guide you in the right direction. They make you realize how important it is to learn what you're about. They inspire you. The maximum load is 42 tips. The maximum moment is going to be 3 times 14 or 42 foot tips plus 2 times... Eight. Our College of Architecture doesn't have a dogma. What we want people to do is find themselves and we want to develop the new Frank Lloyd Wright, new Mies van der Rohe's of the future. And we can't do that by trying to fit everyone into a certain mold. So what we do is we provide opportunities for people to learn and for people to grow. And that's what they really push. They really push trying to understand your interpretation of it and not someone else's interpretation of architecture. It's like they work from elevation to plan, but you can see the reality of the building. But the other thing I like about it is it has a classic monumentality yeah, about it. The word is, uh, and they use it on me all the time, is that I'll never give them a straight answer. And they're absolutely right. I'll, I'll never answer a question because there aren't answers. There are only other questions, and I help them find those questions and help them find answers simply by asking them questions. I just have made a recent decision to go on to get my master's here at Ball State in Nutrition. My wife's going to start school this fall and, and then we'll, we'll, we'll be able to kind of go through that part of our life together. Ball State serves me in a way that I feel that it is preparing me really well for my career goals and I'm pretty confident that I came out of Ball State with something I can use for the rest of my life.